Okay, so what we've got here is a, uh, a T Smart um, KVM switch. So it's a dual HDMI um, KVM switch, so it can control two PCs um, and a single screen with obviously keyboard and mouse. So uh, this was a really good buy actually. So this was um, from Amazon and it was. Um, 69 pounds so 70 pounds and um, for some reason it was reduced to 47 pounds which is great so this is the unboxing so the first thing is we've got the the user manual um, we'll have a look at that later and then the actual switch itself so this kit comes with all of the cables uh, two five foot uh, cables um, and nice little power switch on the, on the front as well um, and it will tell you uh, whether your machines are online and also um, the one that you're controlling so that will be the, the connection to switch between the two of them then on the reverse we've got um, input one so USB one and uh, HDMI input one so um, you would connect your um, USB keyboard and mouse for the control here. Um, you can plug in a printer or another utility, I don't know, like a external hard disk in here and then your screen into this one. So PC1, PC2 and then output to the screen. Um, so I'm going to be connecting a Mac Mini and also my, uh, my overclock PC as well. So we'll have a look at that. So that's that part. Um, it's a nice, neat little unit. Uh, also, should point out uh, here, it um, does up to 4K uh, screen resolution. So I'm only going to be using uh, HDMI. So inside here, we should have cables. So nice little remote control as well. So switching between um, the various functions and remote control of your uh, device, so media controller. Then in here we have the cable, so that's the HDMI and USB cable, that's one and a half metre length, so five foot. And the second one, and then the standard uh, UK plug standard UK plug power supply all nicely packaged uh, a great buy so I was looking at all the different prices so the same similar sort of thing on Amazon um, for controlling two PCs came out at about 125 pounds so this one is a real bargain so uh, I'm really hoping that uh, it's going to live up to the hype and uh, do what I need it to do uh, to control the two devices so that's it for now. Um, I'm going to show you the setup once it's all done. But in the meantime, I'll just quickly recap on the kit. Um, all here. I really like this idea of a remote control. That's uh, that's that's neat. Uh, and then the manual. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to connect our HDMI and our USB. So we'll do that uh, using the two ends that we've got here, so the HDMI and then the USB uh, standard connection. So that goes in HDMI, in the, believe it or not, the HDMI port, and then the USB, believe it or not, in the USB port. So that's all there is to it in there. So that's the first end done. The second now needs to connect into the KVM switch. So I'm going to use uh, device two for the Mac Mini. So that's that's the USB into the USB port and the HDMI into the HDMI port and then that I'm going to position on the desk 
So we'll feed that cable back down through the back. Like that. So that's that bit done. Okay, so the next thing is we need to connect up the same HDMI and USB to uh, the PC. So in this instance, I've got a Chill Blast um, Core i7 that's overclocked. Uh, I'm going to be using that as my main PC with the Mac Mini as a secondary uh, unit. So I'm going to connect that up and then we'll have a look at what where we are. Okay, so we've got the KVM now switched on. If I can just zoom down into there so you can see it operational there. So um, the first two blue lights tell you that uh, if the PC is switched on, and the third and fourth, which are the um, the lights with the filled circle. Uh, let's just zoom in a bit more so you can see. So the lights above the field one and two um, tell you which one is operational. So at the moment we've got it um, switched on to the PC, as you can see there. Now if I switch it with the, uh, with the select button on the actual unit, that will switch to the Mac. So let's do that. A bit of annoying beep, but um, unfortunately that's, uh, that's what you get. Uh, and that's us zoomed into the Mac. Uh, press the left key, the right. So that's all there is to it, basically. Um, we'll have a look at the remote control in a minute and see how you use that to switch between the two but for now I'm going to switch back to the PC so because it's only a single unit that's why my other two displays aren't changing but that's fine that's how I want it I want to use um, the triple screen for flight sim on the Chill Blast PC um, and then just use the Mac Mini on a single display, so that's the reason. Now you can buy other KVM switches that have multiple screens, so you can have dual monitor KVMs, um, but then the, the cost starts going up uh, dramatically. So, as I said, this was £47. I don't think you can go wrong with that, to be honest, when the rest of them are uh, a lot more expensive, so I'm really pleased with that. Okay, so um, I've had a look at the remote control. Uh, here <laughs> confused me a little bit because there was a little piece of packaging uh, tape to stop the battery being used so I removed that and then tried the remote and I couldn't get it to work so I removed the battery um, slot uh, and found that actually there was no battery included so um, so you'll need to get yourself a battery if you're using the uh, infrared remote con control now I've just been online and had a look at the battery type and the type that you want is a CR2025 um, you just pop that into the remote and then when you want to switch between units you just uh, if you want unit one you press one if you want unit two you press two so let's just switch back to unit one there we go using the remote and that's it there and then again switch back to unit two and that's all there is to it. You just need to make sure that you point the remote at the unit. Um, and that's it. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave us a comment and it'd be great if you could also like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.